Thus saith Yeshua, Jesus Christ, so shall ye be. For I see your heart, I hear your cries to me. I feel your brokenness when a leader you trust that deceives you. But I have called and ordained you. I will sustain you. I, Yeshua, and the Ruach HaKadosh, Holy Spirit, are training you. I will not send you forth to the front lines till you are able to withstand and endure the hardships you will endure. But many are your blessings. Many souls will come to me as I fortify your faith and you go forth in my name to do great works in the name of Yeshua and all will know it is not you but the Ruach HaKadosh anointing that brings forth these manifestations of deliverance and healing. I will use you to speak my words and you will do it boldly though many will be offended. They are my words, not your words. You are not held accountable for what I say or the way I think. For my ways are higher than your ways, are they not? I speak not only to you, but again, I speak to all the prophets and apostles who minister in my name. The way has not been easy, nor will it get any easier. But hold on tight to the measure of faith I have given each of you, for it is well above that which will sustain you in this end time. For your bridegroom doth come, yea, I am even now at the horizon. You can feel me at this very hour. Be prepared. Do what I have called you to do, and put your hand to the plow, and do not look back, but look forward. Keep running the good race to the mark of the high calling. Be not deceived. The tribulation has not begun yet. Pray you will be spared this, for the tribulation is not for my bride. Why would I beat up and abuse my loving bride? Why would I kill my spouse, my bride that awaits her groom? my bride with all her jewels on and finely adorned and who worships only me lives for only me I would not I tell you anyone that says I'm going to allow you to go through the great tribulation does not speak my words they speak words of fear and deceit I am coming for my bride to tenderly carry her away and lovingly protect her she is not worthy of my wrath for she loves and obeys me she trusts me she is relying on me to save her do not fear what so-called experts say, and they say, You will be here for the wrath of Almighty God Yahweh. This is not of me. I love my bride, my children, above all else. I gave my life so you would be spared. As you trust me to keep you from hell, trust me also to keep you from the coming horror of the great time of woe, to come upon this earth in the undiluted wrath of Almighty Yahweh. My children, pray for my coming quickly, for judgment must start with my own children, and then the heathen will be judged. This is the great time of woe I speak of. Whatever I have called you to do, do it now, for soon it will be too late. Keep your eyes on the eastern sky, and know that my arrival is imminent. Can't you feel the excitement, for your bridegroom doth come? But for you, my bride, there is no fear, only rejoicing. Fear for those that mock or deny me, fear for the lost sheep. Fear for the reprobate and rejected silver. As they have rejected me, so I have rejected them. You will know rejected silver, for you will know the Ruach HaKadosh is not drawing them. The Ruach HaKadosh will not always strive with men, especially in these end times. You, Daniel, came searching for a word. You, Daniel, have been rewarded this day. Once again, I used you to stir up the gifts in my handmaiden. You both did not know I had made an appointment for you to meet online, but I did. This message is not just for you, Daniel, but once again, beloved son, I have used you to speak forth to all my children. Fear not, your bridegroom doth come. Hold on tight to your faith, for although I am quiet, I am testing those that proclaim their love for me. But by feeding, warning my sheep, you will be proving your love for me. By willing to suffer persecution, hatred, rejection for my name's sake, you are showing your love for me. By holding on tight to your faith, though with your eyes you can't see the answer to your prayers, you will be proving your love for me as you say, Yeshua, even if you never answer another prayer, I worship you for who you are, for what you did for me at Calvary. This will prove your love for me, by being willing to lay your reputations down for me, and if need be, to sacrifice your lives for the gospel of Yeshua. This will prove your love for me, by obeying me, seeking me, and openly confessing and worshiping me. This will prove your love for me, by exposing the wolves in the sheep's den that come to devour the sheep, by picking up my sword of the Rock HaKadosh and defending my sheep, you will prove your love for me. You say you love me, my children. Then by standing for holiness and for right and not wrong, by being conformed to my image and not that of the world, you will prove your love for me. I end this with one question. Will you prove your love for me? I am watching, and you're surrounded by a cloud of witnesses. Even the enemy of your soul watches in fear. Will you prove your love for me by loving one another? 
Those that do, you know are mine, and you shall know it. Will you prove your love for me by sheltering and loving and extending your hands to them in prayer? This will prove your love for me. My sheep know my voice. They will come to no other shepherd. Have you heard my voice this day? Then this is who this message is for. I have proved my love for you at Calvary. Now will you prove your love for me?